Hi guys, welcome to Zoe's Fancy Cakes. I'm Zoe and today I'm going to have a go at making a cactus cake. <laughs> Let's start. So I'm going to use a green buttercream and I've used the colour mill for that. And you'll see I've got pink and yellow cakes. We'll just sandwich them between. I did just use the colour mill again for mixing in with my cake batter. I used the hot pink and the yellow for those. I'll put links below the video to everything that I have used within this video, guys. So we're just going to layer them up. And I'm going to put a small cake card on the bottom now. My cake card on the bottom is five inches across and my cakes are six inches across. Then I've also got another cake card. This one's even smaller. This one I think is three inches across and I'm using smaller cakes this time. So these cakes are about four inches wide. These are going to be the top of my cactus and then the wider ones are going to be the plant pot. So each of these are being stacked to about four and a half, five inches tall. And then I'm going to carve them down a little bit. So... I should really have picked up a slightly sharper knife for this one, guys. I've turned this cake upside down, so I'll just re put on the cake card. The cake card on the top is the five inch cake card, and I've cut the cake so it slopes down to meet a six inch cake card at the bottom. And then we're just gonna cover the whole thing in green ganache. So it does look the same as my buttercream, it's actually green ganache this time. Again, I just used the color mill for putting into my chocolate ganache. So you're just gonna scrape that round, just remove any off the top. Then we're going to do the same kind of thing with the other cake, but instead of it being just sloped, we're going to try and take a little bit off the top and the bottom edge so it becomes a little bit more rounded in shape. And then we're going to cover that again in our green chocolate ganache. Apologies if you can hear the dog snoring in the background, guys. I'm just going to go over them with a second layer just to smooth them off a little bit. You can use a flexible smoother on the more rounded one. And again, it doesn't have to be round round because the cactus wasn't really a perfect round shape. Now I'm gonna cover it in fondant and for the fondant, I've used a mix of brown and orange together. So I just used pre-colored ones and I've rolled it out and I'm just gonna wrap it around the plant pot part, which at the moment is still upside down. It's just cut through where they join, where they meet each other. So we will have a little bit of a seam. So I'm gonna put this to the back of my cake. So I'll try and smooth the seam the best I can with a flexible smoother. And then I'm gonna cut off anything off what at the moment looks like the top, but will be the bottom. And then I'll just give it a quick smooth down with some smoothers. So I'm just gonna turn it the right way around just to see what it looks like. So it's about the right shape. I'm gonna turn it back again. I've put it on a Christmas cake board at the moment. That's just for something to rest it on. Now my plant pot has these little dips in the bottom, so I'm trying to add them, but actually at the end you don't really see them. So let's do kind of the edge of the plant pot. So I rolled a nice long piece out in the same fondant, or the same colour fondant, and I want to press in, I'm just going to use my ruler for this because it's nice and easy, at the top edge so we get like a sort of little lip forming, and then I'm just going to trim off a little bit further down. I'm going to stick this on with piping gel. Now guys, before I've stuck this lip on, I've actually raised the plant pot underneath. So I had some little lids off containers and I've just put them under the cake so that when I lift this up, this lip pit that I've put on sticks up further than the cake. It will hopefully make sense when I turn it around and show you it. I'm gonna just dust with a large soft fluffy brush, a bit of soft terracotta -y color on there. I just want to map the fondant down a little bit by doing that. And then on my cactus, I wanted to try and mark out where the individual segments of it were going to go. And I'm just looking for a color that matches. I've used both black and the green in the masser together to get the color I want. So I've just got a bit of modeling paste and I'm just mixing in a bit of brown and cream. And I'm going to roll it nice and thin. And what I want to do is try and cut some little pointy bits. So really fine and pointy for like the spiky bits of the cactus. Now, I didn't make enough to do the whole cactus in. And I think I made them a little bit too big as well. <laughs> but you'll also find later in the video, I also use vermicelli rice noodles, I think they were. Which were easier, but they don't look as realistic, I don't think. I'm also going to work on creating some bits for my soil. So I've got a bit of brown food coloring mixed in with some coconut. I've just mixed it in in the jar. So I'm going to put that onto some kitchen roll and I'm going to leave that to sort of dry out a bit. And that's going to add to part of our soil. So I've just done that now that I can go to one side. 
while that's drying, I'm just going to cut into my cake. So the top cactus part of it, the plant part, I put the ganache on very thick. So you'll see now that it is very thick. And that was so that I could cut into it easily. Now you can carve this same shape into the cake itself, but I thought it might be a little bit crumbly. You can see it's some parts I've made it all the way through to the cake. I thought it was easier to do this bit in the ganache. So once you've done that, just make sure the ganache is firm and then we're gonna cover the whole thing in that fondant. So that's that green and black fondant that we've mixed together earlier. Just press it into the creases the best you can with a little modeling tool and try and pinch it together at the bottom. Then we can cut any extra bits off, off the bottom section of it. So you can see the cactus has like little imperfections and things. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's some kind of cactus virus. I'm not very good at looking after plants, so it's very possible that's what it is. So I just want to make sure when I do mine that it does include bits like that on there. So I'm just going to use my Dresden tool just to put in the odd tiny little sort of scuff mark line, little indentation that we can paint up later to create those marks that are on the cactus. I'm just going to press light indentations in along the edges as well of each of the sort of segments of the cactus. I'm going to use some dark green as well. I think this is spruce green I've got here. So I've mixed the spruce green with a little bit of piping gel and water. So it's fairly runny and we're just going to paint the whole cactus in that. That will dry out. It will leave a tiny bit of a shine, but not too shiny. So guys, this is the coconut that I made earlier. And once it has dried, I'm going to add to it. So I've got some little cocoa nibs. I think they look kind of soily, so I'm just going to put them in. They also taste quite nice. The other thing I've got is Oreos. I got Batman Oreos this time. So I'm just going to try and take out the cream of the middle and we're just going to bash those up. And they can be mixed in with our coconut and cocoa nibs. Also, you can use bourbon biscuits as well. That will give you a lighter color brown. Just do the same thing, bash them up, and we can mix them into the soil. And I've got a bit of sort of a cream color. So I think I've got primrose and white mixed together, but you can just use cream. And I'm just trying to gently tap some of that once so we get little flicks. And then those indentations are made earlier. I'm just trying to put a little bit of paint into those sort of gaps and lines. Because we don't want the cactus to look perfect. I use some mustard kind of color powder. I've mixed that in with some fondant. We're going to roll it into little balls and we're going to push it onto the cactus. And I'm going to, I want to make it look fluffy. I'm not very good at making it look fluffy, guys. I wish I'd spent a little bit longer on this one to make it a bit more realistic. But just with my craft knife, I'm going to kind of jab into it a little bit so that it makes it look a little bit fluffier. And then these are the vermicelli noodles. So you're just going to break them into little sections and you're just going to put them into each of those balls that you've stuck onto the cactus. Can you guys see that just there? And these are the ones that I made earlier. So these are the ones that are a bit bigger and thicker. But I don't know if they work right with the thin noodles as well. I wish I'd gone for just one or the other rather than mixing both together. But the noodles were definitely the easier option. The ones that I handmade were breaking a little bit as I went along making it very tricky but these ones were harder to push directly into the fondant and you can see my cracks and things near the bottom I'm not too worried about those cracks at the bottom because when this goes into our plant pot in a bit the soil that we've made the edible soil will cover that bottom section there and we won't see that so I'm trying to work on the bottom half of the cactus first because once I've done that I can flip over my plant pot and put it in there so we flipped it over I've put some buttercream on the top, or you can use ganache. And what I do want to do is just dowel the middle. So I've got some clear straws. I'm just going to put three of those in the middle of the cake so that it holds up the weight of the cactus itself. Because the cactus is fairly heavy and I don't want to risk it sinking into my cake and the pot kind of expanding and getting wider and then falling apart. So I'm just going to sit that in there like so. Just going to carefully spoon in that soil that I've made. I feel like the soil's the most realistic of everything on this plant that I've made. The plant pot's fairly, fairly realistic, I would say. Um, the cactus bit on the top, I think I, maybe I should have used something else for the, for the needles. I don't know. Let, let me know, guys, in the comments below. What do you think? What should I have used for the little spikes or needles? I'm not sure what they're called on a cactus. Um, what would you have used for them to make them look a bit more realistic? So we're just going to keep doing this. So now it's in the plant pot. I can keep going with all these little dots and needles. And if you're wondering if I got a little bit fed up of this bit, I definitely did. I was doing it for quite a few hours, adding in the spikes. 
and yeah I, I definitely got bored of doing this bit so my plan was once the whole thing was covered in these spikes was to paint them all so that they all match the color of the real cactus in the background however when I did try to paint them guys I found that a few of them were breaking off so in the end I just left it so I wish that I had spent the time to paint them but it was just so tricky so yeah we're just going to do that all over the cactus Although I think it looked quite nice without the needles. Obviously not as realistic, but it still looked nice without them. So you can turn the seam to the back, guys, as well, so that it's less obvious that it's a cake. And let's go find somewhere to put this. So guys, usually you see my kitchen in the background. Today I have brought the cake to work. I thought I would put it in works scenery. Let's see if you can spot it. Did you guys spot it? You already know what it looks like, so you probably saw it quite easily. <laughs> there it is. Maybe needed a bit more work on the needles or the spiky bits of it. Hope you enjoyed this video guys. I'd love to see if you guys have a go at making your own version of it. I don't know if I do it again. It took forever to put those little spikes in it and I don't think I did them very well. <laughs> Thank you everybody that subscribed to my channel. If you haven't and you'd like to see more videos like this one, please do and I'll see you next time. Bye. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.